Hi everybody! Um, I'm really happy to be here with a journal. And um, It has been sold. It was a custom order for Wendy. Hi Wendy! And um, it was really nice to get into making a journal. It's taken me a while obviously because I've been working full time and I do have some really exciting um, things ahead. Um, so I'm going to show you. It's an A6 um, traveller's notebook. The it's, it's a very nice dark chocolate rich um, brown that I've dyed this in and it's um, had a coat of wax so it's very soft. Um, got a butterfly on the closure. Wendy asked for um, a canvas cover insert. Uh, she wanted it chunky, she only wanted one and she loves um, lavender. So there's lots of kind of lilac and lavender colours in the journal. Um, I'll just very carefully take this out. Um, I've left the cover slightly large so all the all the edge shows round the insert. I find the middle because it is it really is a huge huge insert this one. So obviously you all know how the traveller's notebook works. I'll just pop that over there. So. The cover is a um, fabric collage. There is a little garment pin at the top with some uh, lilac coloured beads. There's also um, a, I think it's a Tim Holtz safety pin. Uh, this beautiful kind of monochrome and greys um, on this uh, fabric. It's not a vintage fabric, but um, it is a vintage style fabric. I've bought um, quite a lot of this because I think it's beautiful. Got some charcoal coloured lace, some muslin, some lighter grey lace and some silver lace here with a little bit of lilac trim as well. So we've got loads of journaling space in here. Um, this pocket folds out and inside is a new kind of style tag that I've um, been having a go at. Um, I'm hoping to do quite a lot more of these. So this, it's backed onto a really heavyweight cartridge paper that's been tea stained. There is um, some dictionary page at the back here and it's definitions of various flowers and bulbs and things like that. And then on top of that there's some of the tracing paper uh, that I've printed onto with the scanned flowers. And we've got ledger paper, lots of trim, there's a fabric pocket and inside there's an altered playing card and a card from Chikuna. Um, different book pages, again I've picked lots of purples and lilacs. Um, this is a fold out and I've used some really nice vintage style washi um, to hold that in place and there's another little chacuna card in this little collage here. Um, this is a book page collage with some muslin and it's a pocket with another um, altered playing card in there. Got a little um, bell on a paper clip, more trim. This is a vintage book page and I think I've shown you this in the past. This is the vintage book and it's dated, um, it was given as a gift in 1898. So it's really old but some of the pages are falling out so I am actually going to gut this and turn it into a journal. Hopefully fairly soon, sorry that was my coffee. <laughs> um, so yeah, the book's called Wild Animals and Birds beautiful. Um, this is a card from Sagita Coffee Stains and there's a little charm on there and I've just popped a little tab on so again the tabs are all attached to cards except obviously the trim but the tabs are. Another fabric pocket with an altered playing card. Book page pocket with a book page tag which is sewn onto some tea stained paper. I really enjoyed making this one. It was so much fun getting back into making a traveller's notebook. Some more book pages and the staining on this. This is more of that cartridge paper. I don't know if you can see. That's never happened before and I don't know if it's because this is probably the thickest weight cartridge paper I've used. More book page. Um, we've got another little fold out here and a tiny little pocket with one of my little um, 
tracing paper tags. It just slots in there. Graph paper um, and little Nazzy Amity Bloom flipping. Hi Nazzy! Uh, with some of that silver lace trim. Um, this is uh, from another vintage book. Oh, it's not quite as vintage. This cut. This is from 1929, so not quite as old. Uh, but it's the Oxford Book of English Verse, and I've picked one. It's an anonymous um, author, but it's a very pretty little poem, and you can read most of it through the pages. So this is another one of those Sagita coffee stain tags, and that's onto more of that cartridge paper. And that's got a little tab on. Obviously, it's backed onto tea stain paper as well. So. Um, another one of these little collages with a Chikuna card in there. And then this is the centre and we've got some purple beads on the string. And I did remember that Wendy actually said she didn't like glitter and there is a bit of glitter in the eyelash trim but the paper clips can always, that can always be cut, taken off. Um, little library card style tag uh, with another little tag inside. Oh. another little fabric pocket and a book page tag and I didn't back that there is li a little space to write but I didn't back um, that with paper because I just thought it was so pretty um, we've got another little collage flip out here that one comes out like that and then we've got an altered playing card with a little bird paper clip on there to match the little birds in the image. Um, this one is a, I think this is the rose, yep, so that's a little rose charm on a paper clip there. Um, little book page pocket and little chikuna card inside there. Um, this is just a little flip out and I've just put a little piece of book page on the corner there. Another Sagita coffee stain tag and um, this is the poem that went with this image it came from a book page and I just I just thought it was beautiful so I had to pop that in lots of purples and lilacs with another little tag inside the pocket but that's just the poem that came with the image another little collage with a little pocket tag so there's a beautiful robin on that side and some flowers on there and then inside there's a little paper well it's the cartridge paper tag with the um, more birds stitched onto that another little um, fabric pocket with bits and pieces of cotton on there and another one of those little tracing paper tags just popped in there Um, some ledger paper, another little tag, and that is the back of the book. So, Wendy, I hope you do like it. I had a lot of fun making it. So, um, thanks ever so much for watching, and I have reached 1,000 subscribers. Um, I have a really busy week at work this week, and hopefully next weekend I will be starting a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I am thinking of doing maybe a similar journal uh, to this. However, I do have some reclaimed leather that I would really like to use. So I'm probably gonna get that started at the weekend. And over the week, I will be finishing that as we're on half term. So maybe some altered postcards and maybe other bits and pieces as well to go into the giveaway. So thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm sorry I haven't been keeping up with lots of tutorials and things at the moment. It's just really busy at work. Um, but thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll catch you next weekend. Bye.